Si ile uchaguzi zingine ni 2027. Ama ama mmesikia kuna uchaguzi zingine hapa katikati? Si ni ile. Sasa hawa marafiki yangu nimeshawaambia. Na niliwaambia hata mbeleni. Nyinyi chipange. Bure mtazama. Wakazunguka zunguka wakazama. Sasa saa hizi wasipojipanga. Si ndio? Wakiendelea na sufuria kwa kichwa. Mambo yao itakwama zaidi. If you are very keen politically, you might have noted that uh, Kalonzo Musyoka is seeming to have really redefined himself. The other time he was in Bigori County opening wiper offices. The next time we saw him in the central region, the Gema community, moving with key leaders. Today he was in Hisi. So much. William Ruto one term president. Ata Rudi Ata Akasema kusema rekebisheni kipengele hiki, rekebisheni kipengele hiki, awaku usikia hata senator wenu. Yani Kenya imekua inchi ya utuaji tu kodi bila hata kujali anayetua ni nani. Sasa hata mamboga ambia watoe ushuru. Yo anakuja kwa esabu, unauza ndizi ngapi, unauza... <laughs> Hata ile mboga mbene amenunua unauza ngapi kwa mwezi? Hayowezekani wewe useme hauna bilioni nne ya madaktari. Vijana wa Kenya wameelimishwa wakaelimika. Inachukua miaka karibu sita saba mtu kuhitimu kuwa daktari. Na sasa madaktari wako kule Nairobi, wako kwa mgomo Badala ya wakuji hapa nyamira, wakuji kisi, watibu watu wetu. Mishmiwa kalonzo, kuja kisi, tembea, chuko tayari kutembea pomoja na wewe. Baba amekuenda adisaba. Tulikuwa hapa yuzi na baba na ametuambia, adisaba wani hapa karibu. Tukimutaka na ikamini, masaba wani matatu wamefika. Tazima tushikilie nchi yetu isianguke. Well received, such a strong move. So perhaps Kalonzo is now moving from what we have always been saying, that he is a sleeping giant or a sleeping lion. And most of the pundits sometimes used to describe him with what the holy book says, that better a living dog than a dead lion. So if Kalonzo thinks that he is the buffalo, he is, he is one of the big five, yet we were not seeing actions from him, we would be saying that better a dead, you know, better a living dog than a dead lion, because we are not starting to see what is really made of. So right now we can repackage the politics of Kalonzo. Okay? And watch this space. I think this man has awakened the giant in him, the tiger in him, okay? And if you look at the way he's strategically moving around, Kalonzo is going to gain ground when nobody is seeing. And all of a sudden, when we are reaching 2026, before 2027's general election, I think Kalonzo is going to gain more momentum and he's going to be a force because I'm seeing a new definition of Kalonzo Msioka. Eh. <laughs> yani maisha ni mbaya. Nimeona leo kwa standard. Kama hawa na masikio, wasikie. Eh. Kuna mtu ameandika pale a very clear statement. Anaitwa Barak Muluka. Ame mwambia Ruto, <laughs> ubo wa guyu, yu ni kuvuku, ni kubaya. Na azina andualama kuwa ma Kenya kwanza. Mi mwenyewe na, naomba mungu wa nisamee. Because nilisema niluwaita Kenya Kwisha. Hai, <laughs> nikaona hii Kenya Kwisha, they are actually wanamaliza maliza Kenya. So we have to think and reason. Inchi kotabani. Na mimi kwa pande wangu na wenzangu wa azimio, tumeamua kushikana, tuambie wa Kenya ukweli. 
Kwa sababu ukweli ni kitu ya maana. Kumbukeni sometimes people misquote the Bible. When say you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Jesus was talking about himself. Eh, hey, lakini watu wanapitia huko utajua ukweli. Eh, hey, but it was him. If you know who God is, then you know the truth. I'm seeing the way he's playing his cards very well. He's not shouting, but chini ya maji things are really happening. I believe you've also noted that ladies and gentlemen. Take a moment and follow how this man is strategically positioning himself. We were not thinking that he would go to Migori County and start opening wiper offices. We were not, you know, expecting that he would be in Kisi, being received the way he was received. So this is giving him a momentum to further his activities, further his, you know, efforts, and it is a good thing. And one of the things that I was listening to a conversation, you know, they were saying that um, right now, if ODM is not serious, if ODM is not going to be very actively involved in being there to be seen by the people, Kalonzo is going to overtake them. Wiper is going to overtake them, especially in the contested regions. Leave alone the strongholds. The strongholds, for now, we can say, still intact. All these principles and leaders who are key in Azimio, the contestable areas, the areas that are up for grabbing, Kalonzo's team really gearing up for them. Kuna wengi wangekuwa nasi hapa lakini wametuma salamu. Akiwemo aliyekuwa rais wa eneo Jamhuri ya Kenya Uhuru Kenyatta. Umepokea salamu? Akiwemo baba wetu Raila Molo Odinga, umepokea salamu? Akiwemo mama wetu Martha Wangari Karua, umepokea? Akiwemo governor Munya, umepokea? Governor Wairia, governor Nderitu, professor Wajakoya. And just take a moment, keep watch, and tell me, in the next quarter of 2024, how you will gauge Kalonzo Busioka and what the ground will be saying about him. There is no hope. Let me tell you, three years and six months, they may back. Mm. 42 months. Do you think he's going to come for a second term? Zero. Where? This is an outgoing regime, one term. Nahakuta kuwa uda. 2027 kama tutafika kule kutakuwa jubilee kutakuwa jubilee kutakuwa ODM kutakuwa wipe hata Ruto mwenyewe hawezi guza hii wilbaro chai na madazi mm. okay peke yake 2 billion look at the, the renovated state house 1 billion shillings cost to just renovate na watoto haijada chule what is wrong with us jamani kwani kukalia wilbaro akili ilienda wapi <laughs> kama vile vijana unaona wakipiga kelele or her calling it is okay more of that needs to be done so that we can hold the country from going into the dogs for another one or two years before they go home so this is an outgoing regime there is no way na nasema hata ruto mwenyewe akiwa chebukati hata ona second term hata even if he is chebukati when kenyans decide they have decided